Hi everyone and welcome to Happy Trails Hiking. In this video, we're going to be taking a look back at some footage from years past. That's right. We're going to take a trip down memory lane to Yellowstone National Park, specifically Artist Paint Pots, and this was in 2018. So tonight we are at Artist Paint Pots. It is a Sunday night and it's about 8.20. Yesterday at about 3.30 we tried to come see this, couldn't even get in the parking lot. So as you, as you can see, the parking lot's fairly empty-ish now and we can go see them. So come on along. One of the things that I found when we went into this area was that I was expecting to just walk up and see mud pots or paint pots or whatever. But one of the things that I've learned about Yellowstone is that most of the time when there's, you know, a feature thing there, especially with geothermal areas, there are other things to see, like this blood geyser. As you can probably tell by the lighting in this clip, we arrived at twilight and there are a couple of things that we should point out about arriving at this time of day. The first one has to do with crowd size and the second one has to do with insect size. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the clip, we didn't, the parking lot wasn't full. We were one of the very few cars in the parking lot. And so that was great. I was very excited about that and that we weren't going to have a really crowded trail and people weren't going to be, you know, holding their kids up to see the mud pots in the middle of, you know. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, it's a bad plan. Anyway, um, and then we got on the trail. And while <laughs> the insects were probably roughly the average size, there were definitely above average numbers of insects. And maybe it's because there were fewer people available for them to chew on, but we moved very quickly in an effort to outrun the mosquitoes. We did, but the sunset was really pretty from up on top of the bluff there. I was actually really excited to see these mud pots. Now, if, you're, if you've heard about Yellowstone, everyone has, or most people have, you probably have heard of Old Faithful. That is the attraction that draws everyone to the park and that's the one that's most famous. Mm -hmm. But these mud pots are just as equal a phenomenon in many ways. You know, it's, they're just, it's mud and it's paint and they go bloop. And I realize that that seems kind of, I don't know, it doesn't necessarily sound very exciting the way I describe it, but I just think they're really, really neat. And the time of year that you get there, they could be dramatically different. At this time of year, it was later in the season and it was very dry. So the mud is very thick. And so you get these big bubble bursts in, you know, that you'll see at some point in time. But, but we've been there in times in the past when it's been very, very wet. And it's been more like, kind of like when you first start making stock on your stove at home. And it's just simmering along, bubble, 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 little baby bubbles, you know, and there's not that much going on with them, but I really like it when it's pretty dry. Well, I like the fact that this is another geothermal feature and that, you know, geysers, like Old Faithful, just erupt water everywhere. Well, this water is so acidic that it's been eating away at the rock and the minerals below the ground and it makes this slurry of minerals and they explode. The gas explodes out of them. And in our final clip here, you can hopefully hear the 